welcome back everybody today we are going to work on uh, the armorer because we had our blacksmith over here I did add a quench tank for the blacksmith and I figured a good place right across the street would be the armorer where we sell the uh, suits of armor and stuff so for uh, this build I'm going to use this terracotta. This will be the entrance area. It's kind of going to be a more open look, not, you know, kind of similar to this. So I want to have been almost across, directly across from each other. So maybe another one of those and get rid of that. I can leave that. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then on the back side, I think we need to get rid of some of these. Gonna be similar to what we did with the stable over there. Something similar up here to get it to the right height. Okay, that's a start. Doing the andesite like that. window here and these as you probably figured are going to be stripped and let's just make that even okay that's a good start there and I do need to do something across the top. Which is going to tie into the roof. I don't know if this is going to look good. We're going to see. Actually, I'm going to try this. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Uh, the scaffolding comes in handy. Even if I'm not totally skilled in using it. Maybe 
need to do something different on the inside. Maybe a half slab around there. So let's try that. Actually, I don't want that. Although I can put that there. And actually, I do have a smithing table. It can be here. I find another smithing table there. Actually, I got a couple blast furnaces. That can sit like that. But I need to get my mason stone cutter to get make those slabs. So working on the roof here. I've just been doing this little step up in there. And then I thought maybe I could get Just a little bit of contrast at the very top with the xandesite. That it doesn't look too, you know, too plain or too same. So we do this, okay. And at the top, actually, yeah, I can get away with. I believe I'm going to have the same spawn issue I had over there. There's no way around that. I don't have any... I do have some carpet. Maybe I'll try some white carpet. See all the armor I have there? That's used for... Uh, that's what's going to go inside this building. Okay, come on. Up, up, up. See on the top. These are spawnable, and then I believe these are spawnable. So actually, anything yeah, anything this carpet can fit on would be spawnable. So if I put white on top of there, white on there, and then it'll be this layer here on the edge. That might, I think that'll work. And how are we going to do the inside here? Need to figure out a way. If I put the bucket, a bucket there, the barrel there, another little torch inside. Yeah, I figured the back corner is a little dark and it's dark over here too. Get rid of that. So, if I do barrels there with a, a torch underneath, kind of like it's holding it up. And I could do the same thing over here. Um, don't I have any more? Oh, I'm going to have to go get some more. But I think it's going to be kind of wide open like here. Because most of this is going to be armor stands with uh, the armor on it. So let me go grab one last bit of uh, wool for the carpet and some lighting and then we should be about done for today so actually you're getting off with a short episode this time because there wasn't really much to it oh, go go away go away go away well while i am here might as well see if i can get myself a tree and I think that's going to be a good tree. Actually, just for 
Do I need... Do I have... Yes, I do. Like, I, I need another pair of shears. I don't need another pair of shears, but I will use them. Because what I need are some leaves. And I can always use the wood. And an axe. Oh. Bit of server lag there. And I really need this because of the lighting. I'm pretty sure... That is a little dark over here. So if I stick, actually let's do that. So if I put that there and there, kind of makes it look like it's uh, growing, but it also puts lighting in there. I have a feeling I'm going to need the lighting under here too. And I'll have to come by here and do a really uh, thorough check. But that's just my educated guess on just how it looks. Just looks like it needs a little more. And I'm sure I'm going to have a mob here too. Two or three. Let's get rid of all this for now. I will use that later. So we have that there. And then we go up here and we need to put grab a bunch of those. Don't want to make too many. If I could uncraft them I would make a whole bunch. Once you get wool uh, carpet, you can't go back. Can't make uh, carpet into a slab of wool. Although it'd be kind of nice if you could just stack them. And yes, I know I could do that in a data pack, but I'm talking about what I get generically out of uh, the installation without any changes. Although I'm not adverse to uh, adding a few recipes here and there. I actually think that would help sometimes. So you may see that in the future sometime. You know, it'd be simple things like converting wool into string. Or converting carpet into wool again. Or the big one would be converting, like everything, converting a coral, what do they call it, coral f fans, you know, instead of the block, because the block is not renewable, but the, if you bone meal, you get the coral fans or whatever popping up, so I always figured it'd be nice to be able to take those and put, like, f fill up, you know, Put all of them on a crafting table and make oops, make a block out of them. I don't see a problem with that. This front looks a little bare. And I think that's because I need to put some plants here. So I've got a variety of them. I think maybe a fern, a sapling, another sapling, maybe I will do, put a light there, a leaf, like that. Can make our own little tree. I 
Did I bring a vine? I didn't bring a vine or anything. That's that is unfortunate. But I think I can get away. No, I get away. I keep getting away with things. No, I think what I can do is take some of this bamboo. Did I get it? Yep. Let's put a fern here. I think if I put a bamboo there, it'll grow up and fill in that space there. And I think another one there would be good. Maybe one there. Add a couple ferns. Add some of these uh, poppies. Maybe a poppy here and there. Maybe just kind of slap just a little bit of bone meal. Not much. Oh, I didn't know you could bone meal. Holy cow, you can bone meal bamboo. I should have known that, but... That just seems a little overpowered. Considering how fast bamboo grows anyhow. So if you can insta mine, insta bamboo it, you know, grow it. And you can get more energy out of the bamboo through burning once you make it into sticks and stuff. That could be an infinite uh, fuel source. So I think that'll be okay there. I'm hoping this light lights up that. Still need... Um, Still need another one here, I think. Like that. Okay. That looks pretty good. Yeah, and that's going to look good there. Those will be fine. The roof is pretty low, which is good. So now, we can get rid of all this stuff for now. And bring in the important stuff. So, so this is all the stuff for sale in the store. I figure we have an armor stand here with the... Put a hat, a shoe on there, another one here, put that on there. Oops. The leggings on there and the breastplate. So you got a full set of gold armor there. Put the gold hat on. I do have another breastplate, that's good. Figure a couple here. Maybe one there and there, like that. Maybe even one front and center there. So that could be, maybe I'll put this enchanted. Oops, enchanted armor on there and there. Everybody's got shoes on. I may have to go get some more armor. Luckily, we're right next to spawn. We have that zombie. Actually, we got. Well, I don't. I'm not getting any armor for the current one. I, I was just thinking I've actually got a spawner here, but I get. Um, I get more armor and stuff from the one over at spawn because it's an older setup. And let's just leave the rest of these here. So that is the armorers. So we have the blacksmith. We got the Fletcher over here. Oh, it would be nice to have something out here that kind of indicates fletching. Maybe I'll put an uh, item frame or something out there. Then we have the uh, blacksmith over here. 
the old power hammer, anvil and stuff. So over here you're going to be melt, you know, smelting and forging the armor, which will go over here and be sold in this little shop. Not bad. Okay. So that is uh, one more building down. Got a few more to go. I've got areas over here and here, which I'm not quite sure what to do with. I think the only I, last thing I need to do over here, I've got a toolsmith to build. And I'm going to put the toolsmith over here. Oh, and a weaponsmith. This could be the weaponsmith area over here. Kind of a split building with a little thing in the middle. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then this actually, so the wall would actually go around here someplace. And that's where you're going to do your uh, swords and axes and stuff here. And then the toolsmith over here, he's going to be doing the other tools. And then that will finish our... Uh, I guess I'm calling it square here. The central area. I need to put all this junk away. Okay. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and get ready for the next episode. Which will be out in a couple days. But for now, I'm going to thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode and hope you come back and catch the next one. So have a great day and I'm going to say bye-bye.